y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel, and if you are interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how I fix chicken bacon ranch pull-apart rolls. Perfect on-the-go breakfast, on-the-go lunch, whatever you need them for, midnight snack. Delicious, so let's do it. With my pan, I have gone ahead and just lined it with tin foil and sprayed it. I also have already cut my sweet Hawaiian rolls in half and laid the bottoms in there. You can also use potato rolls. It would be a delicious option as well. I just chose to use the Hawaiian rolls today. In my saucepan, I have a half a cup of butter. And to that, we are going to add some onion powder, some garlic powder, and a little bit of oregano. We're just gonna melt this over medium heat, and while that's melting, we're gonna go ahead and put the oven on to 350 degrees. Our garlic butter has completely melted, so now I'm just gonna take a little brush and brush it on every single one of these rolls. Now we're gonna take sliced Colby Jack cheese and place that on next. I got my chicken, my fresh chicken breast sliced very thin. I'm going to actually put three pieces on each sandwich. So that is what we are putting on now. I went ahead and already cooked up some bacon, so that's nice and crispy. And now I'm gonna place just a few pieces of bacon on each one. Now, of course, we need more cheese on here, so we're placing more Colby Jack cheese on the top. We're gonna put a spoonful of buttermilk ranch on top of the cheese. And the very last thing that we're gonna put on top of this before we put the tops of the rolls on is some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna be pretty heavy handed with this because this is just gonna make it even better. Now for the tops. In the comments below, let me know what y'all's favorite kind of sliders are. Do y'all like the little cheeseburgers? Do you like stuff like this? Just let me know. Now applying that last layer of garlic butter on top. Now we're just gonna cover these with tin foil, place them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna remove the tin foil, sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top, bake them for the last five minutes with no cover and let that cheese really just melt down over the top. I have removed this beautiful, beautiful masterpiece from the oven. It smells absolutely delicious. So I'm pretty sure we need to try it right now. Here we go. It's heaven. This must be what heaven is like. I'm pretty sure. It is so good. Folks, thank y'all so much for stopping in today. I really, really appreciate it. And when you're out and about today, give somebody a smile for absolutely no reason at all and see their reaction. I bet they'll smile back. See you next time. Bye-bye.